Well, good morning, friends and family, and welcome to the JNL Ministries YouTube channel and also Bella's Legacy Rabbitry. Glad you could join us on this. Uh, where are we? Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. Days just keep flying by. A lot going on, and after the storm we got yesterday and cleaning up. Praise the Lord. I want to look at uh, two verses found in uh, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. Let me see if I can get them here so you can read them with me. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Hmm. Verse 24, but let him that glorifieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise love and kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. You know, if only the world would understand this. If only the world would understand what the Lord is saying here. But that's not the case. And sadly, even within the church. You know, worldly views are being so embraced. We see that more and more. I know, I've noticed it more in the last 10 years and especially in the last two years. But you know, today we need solid contenders for the faith. You know, uh, so many make an effort to, and, and they'll do anything to be loved, to be accepted by the world. But you know, and we just read, our primary goal in life should be to please the Lord, regardless of, uh, of what the world thinks of us. And all that, we need to be politically correct. You know, sure, we can, and and we should connect on common ground, but we can't be blending in with some of the ideas of what the world believes. No, we need to give our attention to knowing that which matters most. And, and you know, I'll admit, that can be a struggle. But above anything else, I want my life to be lived and known by others that I am one who understands and knows God. You know, there's so much to know. And as Scripture says, knowledge will increase. You can find that in Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. And you know, in our day and age, we've got such an explosion of knowledge and there doesn't seem to be any end in sight. You know, especially when it comes to technology. You know, my wife and I are amazed that some of the things that they've come up with right now, we've got a robot vacuum <laughs> cleaning the downstairs part of the house. Who would have thought of that? But you know, the main thing remains. The main thing, and is so powerfully expressed in the verses that we read today. You know, Jeremiah received the message from the Lord probably somewhere around 2,600 years ago. And yet, you know, we can see how appropriate those two verses are for us today. The three things that have always been the most important are mentioned here. Wisdom, strength, and riches. You know, these are the three constant sources of human pride, which leads to boasting. Whether it's inwardly or visible to, to all who sees us. But you know, God reminds us that 
there are things that matter most that we understand and that we know him those are the most important things for a christian to to be and i'm going to ask you to think about this chew on these these two verses today most importantly live your lives from this day forward to these truths you know today as we who love God, may we have a growing knowledge of him. May we seek understanding regardless for his will. Let us understand what his will is. May we totally surrender things that aren't his will can we do that can we surrender that to him you see friends that's what true wisdom is let's also look at uh, psalm chapter 14 verse 2 i don't have that up in the the banner the lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek god Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord, and we ask you to help us to remember the only boasting that really matters is that we boast in this alone, that we truly know you, we truly understand that you are our Lord, and that you are just and righteous. Our own pride and forgetfulness of your wondrous works your miraculous provisions will eventually lead us to our defeat. Our self-confidence based solely upon our own abilities or wisdom leads to misplaced trust, compromise in our own spiritual lives. So Father, we consider the, the Bible heroes, those fallen Christians all throughout history and even in our present day who have allowed pride to master their thoughts and actions. The enemy they faced was not on a battlefield. It was a stronghold within the confines of their hearts. Wisdom, strength, and riches such a blessing something that we don't deserve but father the gifts that you distribute with delight as we saw in, in the verses that we read today may we always heed the warning that we find in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 12. if you thinking you are standing strong be careful for you too may fall into the same sin. Lord, let us think about that today. We love you and we give you all the honor, all the glory, in the precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank all of you for taking a few moments this morning. I, I do hope that these devotions are helping you. Now, there's going to be some big news here um, coming up, and I'm not going to get into it now. I'll probably make a separate video explaining what's going to be happening. Is anybody's ears perked up? <laughs> Change? I think it will be exciting. I think it will be very helpful for a lot of people. So be ready for that. I'll, I'll do a video shortly on that. Friends, we love you. Thank you so much. You know, if you want to share these videos, by all means do. Um, if you know somebody that's going through some of the things that we discuss in these devotions, send these videos out to them. Let it be an encouragement. Let it help edify somebody. 
Friends, we love you. God bless you.